Oi boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel. We are back with an experimental subscriber 17. Now, this is our second take recording the intro. Um, I went through the whole team and everything, but my mic was actually on mute. So we're gonna go through the squad, the starting 13 at least on this screen. I'll throw up a pick of the bench while we talk our way through today's lineup, who has been suggested by our boy Liam Porter. Now I've got like two more, or th maybe three, three left in the tuck experimental lineups from you boys. Since we're nice and early into the season, we can afford to do a few more. But yeah, let's get into Liam's side. So starting with the back five, we have Roger Tui versus Sheck at fullback. Uh, keep in mind that when suggesting lineups, two and three will be the left side and three and five is the right side. So if you wanted certain players on the left or right edge, that's how that works, but yeah. Moving along with the back five, we've got Suwa Lee, left wing. We've got Donnie Staggs being moved to left center. Salwan Kobe coming in from the right wing into right center. And Murray Taulangi at right wing. The halves remain the same. We have Jaden Sullivan and KP at 5'8. Brian Rowe, Tavita Pangai Jr., Harry Grant, and Tohu Harris. This is where things get a little mixed up. We've got in the back row, Bo Fermor, left edge, right edge. You've got Carl Lawton and Isaac Tungo at lock. On the bench, he had... Tyrone Peachy, Sean Kepi, and Franklin Bellet. The big change being uh, Victor Radley on the bench, who I assume will be rotating with Harry Grant, if that was the idea. That's what I'm thinking at least, or we could use uh, Victor in the back row or something, but we'll see what happens. Really, it depends on how their stamina holds up in game. Harry Grant may end up playing the whole thing. Who knows? But yeah, that's our lineup for today. Thanks to Liam Porter. Again, if you have suggestions, drop them in the comments. We may as well take a quick geese at the ladder before heading into our game with the Rabbitohs. So heading into round three, looking for three wins in a row. We have the Rabbitohs, the Eels, the Raiders, the Cowboys, the Warriors up in there, and the Storm. And the teams that are one and one, the Roosters, the Dolphins, the Titans, and the Dragons. As for teams without a win, we have the Sea Eagles, the Panthers, the Knights, the Bulldogs, the Sharks, and the Bronx sitting at last. Oh nice, we're playing at Central Coast Stadium, one of the more aesthetically pleasing stadiums to play in, uh, backgrounds to play in in this game, loving the blue, the palm trees of course, looks even better with the uh, dusk setting but we'll take a night game. As per boys, if you do enjoy the content be sure to run a shit to that like button and apparently comments helps with the algorithm, that's what they say, I don't even know if that's true or not but be sure to head up the comment section with the usual hashtag odd squad and yeah just looking at this bunny squad. They still have Campbell at fullback. I'm looking for potential targets. And it's looking like their halfback again. Uh, Dom Brambani will be the go-to for our attack. Skipper KP to get us underway. Uh, we've got a bit of wind with this one. Let's go to the right side. We always kick left. Let's mix it up. That wind should carry it towards the 10. And running on toward is Junior Paulo. They actually pass to the right person this time. All right, bunnies, I see you. Nice little offload. They go left. Selwyn Cobo absolutely folds a bloke. That was some hit from Selwyn. On to all of all players too. Out to KP. Unable to step our way past defenders. We're gonna to come to the left here. Where Fermo hits the fend. Can't find Suwali either. Man, this set has been tragic. We're not even moving. Alright, we'll take that. At least we get a reset. Let's go up the guts. Keep it simple for now. They want it to the right. Let's go. Try and squeeze RTS through. He gets right into the turf. Inside the 10. Can't crash our way over with Tohu. We're gonna go short though. Ponga finds Furmore. And we catch out our target. Bit of a scrappy start, but we get there in the end. Uh, we got lucky with the resets. And we actually come to the side that we said with targets. They're number seven. Little short ball. Both Furmore gets outside Brambani. And the uh, the nice dive to finish. I love how now it's the uh, the short pass is the go to for that particular setup. Usually it's the cat out ball we then moved on to the chip kick and now when you're closer that short ball is there's money if you can hit it properly deep left I'm gonna shoot for the corner decent angle need the bounce and it's good 
Oh, it's about a 40-20. I guess we were out. Let's see, how far were we? Oh, you yeah, were a whole step ever. Over the 40. We did talk about making longer career mode videos, and we're going to do that in Season 2 of our Bulldogs career mode. Let's see how that goes for a few episodes. Typical wet weather, grindy type of game. It's turning out to be. Oh, and the knock on. Stags. Get all up in there. Fletcher Baker taken inside the 10. They come right. Hipgrave. Get onside. Watch the marker. Bro. Too easy in the end. Cody Walker. We'll go over. Someone untouched. I swear the ref is updated. Eh? I don't know. I could be bugging. We got uh, Don Brambani with the conversion. He locks it up. Crucial try too. Only two minutes left in the half. That's heavy. Starting our set on the 10. Bradley, I thought we were through. <laughs> Teased us there, the game did. Sullivan. Nice ball to Kepi in the open. Finds KP. We can't race away. That's a nice play though. Numbers to the left. Suwali'i. Tried running over the top of Campbell. But they do well to hold us up. Again. Just sending players to the line. 50 gain, not a bad set. Gonna chuck it up to the left side though. Oh, come on. Get out of the road, brother. Alright, Kepi. Job well done. Throw Tohu Harris in there. The clearance from Brambani. Taulani. <coughs> Vends his way past one. Look, Cobo here looming on the inside. And Selwyn Cobo. Look at it run down, it seems. Who was that on his tail? Now we get away. We get away barely. Selwyn Cobo with a return try. Bonga almost making up for his, uh, his little uh, missed tackle. He's the one that got fended off initially. KP converts and we go out to a six point lead full time full time we get away with a scrappy win 12 points to six and look at look at the man of the match I think that's his first ever Bo Fermo like I said at the start we've got at least two more experimental squads that I have saved if you do have suggestions go ahead and throw them in the comments but for now we're going to wrap it up there if you enjoyed that and would like to see more rugby league related content or more content in general be sure to sub to the channel don't forget to run and shoot that like button let's put it in and I'll see you you, you, you. Later.